Hello everyone, I'm Joanne and welcome to my craft room. Let's have some fun with this wonderful Berry Sweet collection from scrapbook.com. Now, um, I looked on the website and the paper is sold out. You'll want to click the notify me and it's going to come back in at a great price. And um, when it comes back in, they will send you a text or an email or something like that. But you can still get the stamp set and the dies. The dies are so cute. I absolutely have to tell you, I do love the paper. Now, this was the first card that I made with it. And I made my little basket here. Um, I want to do so much more with this. Uh, so, um, and I've been doing a lot of work for Spellbinders. So please check out all of my videos. I am an affiliate for Spellbinders, scrapbook.com. Amazon and Gina K Designs. All of the links are below that I've used in this in this card today. All the product links are below. If you'd like to order, I do appreciate it. I do make a small commission. It's at no cost to you. Okay, so here are the dies, and you get the uh, flowers and strawberries and these little cherries, and um, I love that the words have a shadow die. So it's um, very sweet is what it is, and I've actually, this card I saw on the website, and I wanted to make it. So this is called Copy and Share Everything to Case a Card, and um, so I'm going to show you how to make this one that was on the little site. I put a strawberry in the center and then uh, two here on the envelope. How cute. Let's go ahead and do that with the envelope so we get those done. I've already put these um, strawberries together. They're very simple. Fun to cut out. Fun and fast, this card. And I'll give you, of course, all the measurements for um, to make this. And we're going to do some stamping and die cutting, too, with this right here, this little one. Isn't that cute? That takes care of most all of the uh, sayings that are in this uh, stamp set, the Berry Sweet stamp set. I love strawberries. I actually went to our, uh, we have strawberry farms here, and I went to the stand the other day and got two big um, containers full of them. Oh my gosh, guys, you didn't even need sugar. They were so delicious. Oh, I wait every year. It's called Scott's Strawberries here in Tennessee. So um, I just love them. All right, let's do a little stamping. So this is this time of the year. Now, I know I put Berry Sweet of You on the front of this, but you know, if you have a mother that loves strawberries, this would be a great Mother's Day card. Right, and just put Happy Mother's Day on it and, and use the strawberries, use the basket, just like with the other card, you could use the basket. And instead of doing something like that, you could put Happy Mother's Day on it. I think that would be cute too, because many of us love strawberries. Okay, so here's a piece of scrap paper. I'm just going to use some Memento Black ink, and I'm going to stamp of you here, and then berry and we'll die cut that out in just a moment okay let me put that away all right now let me move this aside because that's all the stamping that we need to do and I'm using some Gina K paper here. So this is Gina K Innocent Pink. And um, then this, of course, comes from the Berry Sweet uh, pad, notepad right here. And then I'm using the Gina K, um, let me find it. Lucky Clover. Lucky Clover. Isn't that pretty? I love pink and green. If you follow me, you know I love pink and green. Now, the greatest thing about these pads that scrapbook.com has is that it is the front of the card. You don't have to cut, measure, anything. It's five and a half by four and a quarter. It's perfect. Let's go ahead and add this to the front of our card. Isn't that beautiful? It's, kind of, it's, it's difficult to put glue on that, right? I say that all the time when there's a pretty piece of paper. I bet you guys do too. Okay, so when I do something, oh, there's the inside of the card. Do something like this. I kind of just tap it on my surface and just use my hands. And honest, it takes all the guesswork out of everything. Now, this piece of Lucky Clover is three inches by five and a half. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. Three inches by five and a half inches. 
and I'm going to center this the best I can. You guys know me, I'm not a measurer. So, but I think we'll get it in there pretty well, right? And again, I'm just going to tap it down there and just let it fall right into place there. Okay. Now, um, the center, the center, the inside of the card is a piece of Nina White cardstock, four and three quarter by three and a half. And I've already got my strawberry completed for that one, for the inside too. It's all about the strawberries, right? I have one more bowl of strawberries left in the free in the fridge. They were so good. <laughs> Yeah, and you got to get them like now, you know, like when they're coming in because they, it's not like, well, I'll, I'll go get some in a couple of weeks because they're going to be gone. We've got a big strawberry festival coming up here in our little town. They've got something going on downtown. I think it's an outdoor festival today. They have people like to hike our mountains here. And um, then we're also getting this huge resort Let's go ahead and put this, um, these strawberries together. So I cut these out of the berry um, sweet paper because it has the seeds here. Isn't that fun? So that's what I cut that out of, the seeds, seed paper. And then I used the um, uh, green clover of Gina K. And I'm just going to bring this in so I don't get too much glue on my, there we go. On my surface. So yes, I read in our, uh, like online on our little, like our news that Irwin Online or whatever it is, that we have a this huge resort that they are building up in the mountains. It's going to be a nice retreat. People are going to be able to have weddings there and the way it sounded, it was just gorgeous. And our mountains are so pretty. Um, but I think they're going to have some outside venues and just really, wow, I couldn't believe what they were building up there. It's an absolute gorgeous part. You know, I live um, in the Appalachian Mountains is where I live. My, it's a little town in the valley of the Appalachian Mountains. So it's really, really pretty. Okay, so there's the two strawberries. That's how to put them together. You just cut the top out with the die right here. And then I cut, whoop, I cut this. We need that die. I cut the strawberries out with this one, and it already has the seeds. Isn't that adorable, right? Um, so let me move this aside, and this also, and let's do a little die cutting, okay? I'm going to bring in my Platinum 6 here, and I'm going to replace this with my Magic Mat. I love this magic mat, okay? I just have to say, I absolutely, completely and totally are in love with the magic mat. So this piece of white is two and a half by five and a half, right here. And let's see, I did, I said we need that die. Here it is. And I'm just going to place it down a little bit, like about a quarter of an inch, maybe half an inch from the top, okay? And I'm going to die cut this out. Oh, wait. I took something out that I should have. <laughs> I need my platform there. And this replaces, sorry, this replaces a clear plate. You need the rest of the sandwich. I took, you saw me take it. I took it right out. I don't know what I was doing. My hands were just moving. I took something out, moved the magic mat in. All right, there we go. So, yeah. You just replace it with one. You replace one clear plate with the magic mat. And I'm getting really good cuts. And the backs of my projects are not yucky looking. So they're real they're really great. Because I don't run it through a piece like this that has all a bunch of cut marks on it. So that's really awesome. I'm gonna save the white strawberries because there's no telling what I'll do with it. Now down here we want to do the same thing, just die cut this out. What do I have on here? Hold up. That was a little glue. Okay. Alright, so we're just going to die cut this out right here. And I'm, I want to line it up with this one. 
just like that. Okay, and again, a little bit from the bottom, doesn't matter. It's going to look great. You could also make, you know, you don't have to make a straight line of, of strawberries. You could make a little cluster of them at the top or something like that. That's fun too. Let's see, let me put this over here. I like to keep everything on my magnet. I have learned that. Woo! Boys, oh, because then you're sweeping the floor with a magnet, thinking, where is my stuff? Okay, now, let's see, where did I go? Here we go, with our sentiments. And look at that, with the little teeny tiny flags. I love it. Now, the magic mat does not warp. So I'm, at times, I do not use any tape because it's flat. I'll just come back this way real quick. Look how, that's a perfect cut. Right there. That's awesome. Now let's go ahead and get this one. And you can see, I've used this a bunch. I use it every day. I craft every day. Okay, right here. Sometimes I don't put a video up because I can't because I have um, certain rules of when the releases are. Look at how cute! And that's what I've been doing here recently is working on all of those videos. They, they get pre-recorded and, and they are good to go. So now I can play, right? I'm on a whole different system now, kind of with my crafting, which is great, you know. Okay, now, we want to place this here, but we don't want it flat. We want to pop this up. So let's go ahead. I cut some strips here to make it easy. Let's go ahead and place these right here. Okay. Put one on that side. And one here. Get all of it off of there, right? Okay. All right. Now, let's see. Let me put a piece in the middle. And let me go ahead and see if I've got... Yeah. Oh, I cut one in half. So that fit up there, perfect. See, and I'm just kind of blocking it out. Oh, I don't know where the other half went. So I'll just snip that. And peel those backs, and then right there. Wonderful, okay? So now we want this part, the white part, to stand up. You got one shot at this, okay? So be really like watch what you're doing on the top I'm gonna to pull it down okay I gotta watch what I'm doing right here okay I like it whoa I didn't uh, luckily I didn't have my whoop, I didn't have my backing off of one of them and it didn't stick okay there we go okay let's try that again let's make sure this is off it just looks like it has a piece on it, right? Maybe not. Okay. All right. Whoa. Woo! <gasps> Save. Okay. Now let's put this right here in the center. That's perfect. Just like that. Okay? Took me a second to get there, but I got there, right? <laughs> All right. Now... Now what we want to do is recess our strawberries. I thought this was cool to do. I thought this was like, wow, whoever came up with this that designed it, I thought it was a cool way to do it. So take your strawberry, put it in there, and you want to push it down. Push it in so that it, you know, it fits like a glove because it, it's perfectly cut. But you want to make sure that the white pops up. Here it comes, right there. See? See, just let that pop up. Look at that, how it's recessed in there just that little bit. And then this is popped up with foam. And what an effect that gives you, right? Okay, let's do the next one. 
Oh, I forgot to cut out our, our sweet. I have some adhesive sheet I wanted to show you. I'll put a link below for that too. And I'm just going to stick this in here. Any adhesive sheet that you want or you can use glue. Doesn't matter. And like I said, you hear that just popping up just that little bit. It has to come out from under there. There we go. And recess that strawberry. And I'm telling you, it gives it such a cute little look in there, right? Just with that little bit. I love it. Okay, I already cut the, the um, back of sweet out like that in, um, in the clover. And then I want to place my berry. I'm just going to leave that there for just a second so that I could place my sentiments and then we'll cut that sweet out, okay? So I'm going to put, place my berry here and I'm going to let my flags hang off to the green because that shows that we've got a really cute little flag right there, right? Okay, you know what? I could glue this down because I'm just going to place the sweet, yeah, on top of it. I'm not going to pop this up with dimension. The card has enough dimension. So here's this, and then the of you. What a nice set, right? Because you get the little die, you get you get the um, you know you could order all the stamps and the dies and the paper when the paper comes back in. I knew that paper would sell out. I knew that this set right here, if I didn't get it right away, that it was going to be gone. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay. Let's bring that Platinum 6 back in. Okay. Now, any kind, this is a piece of scrap, and that's that um, innocent pink of Gina Kay's. And so any type of adhesive sheet uh, that you might have, they're usually double, you know, they are double-sided. This is, if there's no tape on that, you throw that one away. And go ahead and stick it to your piece of paper. Okay, just like that. Now you've made a sticker, or you can use a Xyron machine. Now I'm going to place my die, and that also makes a sticker. But something that is um, real skinny like this, and I'm going to roll this through a couple of times because it really has to cut it. And I might even use a shim. Let me get my shim right here. Just because I'm going through that adhesive sheet. Wonderful. Okay. Just to be sure, because I'm, oh, that, look at that. That cut like crazy. That is perfect. Perfectly cut out. Oh, I love it. Love it. Okay, now this is, like I said, that was just some scrap paper. I'll put my sweet back in there. They're so cute. I love now that so many of the um, words have the shadow dye. I don't know if you guys like that, but I surely do. I think it really enhances what you're doing. Now, a lot of times when you peel this off, you can pick the little pieces like that are inside, see? They come with, they, they'll just come right out with it. Isn't that wonderful? And now we're just gonna stick this here and I didn't have to use any liquid adhesive. There we go. Wonderful. Here is our card for today. Remember, the links are below. Thank you so much for ordering. I know you guys are going to love uh, creating this card. When I saw it on there, I thought, let me look at that. I need to do that on camera. I love that. Isn't that adorable? What a nice little card. So here is the card for today. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.